Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. We got some really exciting news today. This is the brand new for late 2024, early 2025. It's not quite on the market yet, so we don't have an exact date for you. KC complete redesigned 7.3 Power Stroke drop-in turbocharger. This is a big deal. I've been saying for years that the 7.3 Power Stroke really has lacked in development, especially when it comes to injectors and turbochargers, two things that are really has needed to keep up with some of the more modern diesels. Companies like KC and companies that offer T4 kits have really helped in a lot of ways keep the 7.3 alive, but with a lot of the dropping kits, they've been really limited to what the factory Garrett turbos offered. And we're going to really dive into this, but please bear with me for one second because I've got a quick announcement. I bought this turbocharger with my own money. Casey is not sponsoring me. I am free from them to give whatever review I see fit to it, and that's what I plan to do. It will be fair. I'm not getting any kickbacks from this, so don't demonetize me. Here we go. So why is this such a big deal? Well, the GTP38 that comes on the 99 to 2003 Super Duties was really designed in like the early 90s. It's 35-ish year old technology at this point. The downside to that is technology's come a long way, especially in turbocharger development. Also, machining practices have changed dramatically just in the last three decades. There are a lot of things you could do now that you simply could not do in 1995 or 1999. The bar has been moved dramatically. And for a lot of products out there and a lot of turbocharger companies, they've been limited by the Garrett center section. The small bearings, some of the exhaust housing options, and even the cold side AR. And KC just threw that all out the window as they have done their own thing. And putting these turbos side by side, you're gonna see the difference. So right here, starting off with the compressor cover, we have a huge difference. This is a 1.00 AR. This is a 0.7 AR, more in line with a modern turbocharger, a lot more efficiency coming from that cover and you can see just a huge difference how much more that necks in. The next thing we're gonna look at is actually the exhaust housing. So this is a GTP 38R with a 1.00 AR housing. Your typical Super Duty is gonna have a 0.84 AR housing on the GTP 38. One thing you're also gonna notice is the curvature. This is very round, almost like a snail shell. Where this, and we're gonna to try to capture it, is a lot flatter. And the reason for that is it helps the flow passage. It basically helps this turbocharger spool up faster and be more efficient. They, Casey's also done a ton of R&D with the direction that the exhaust flow hits the turbine wheel to increase that efficiency even more. Another huge part we're gonna look at is both on the GTP38 and GTP38R, we have the center section here and the backing plate for it, the center section, backing plate, the backing plate is held on by four bolts. That's something you don't see a whole lot anymore because it costs you strength. This new KC center section actually has the backing plate cast into it. So it's all one piece, but that's not where it stops. So the biggest thing I can say from my view that Casey's done, and we're just gonna put this GTP 38R over here. With this center section, it allows them to put in a much larger thrust bearing. Even the turbine shaft is larger, but the thrust bearing in particular is almost double the size of what a stock GTP 38 would be. That is huge. It allows you to run different wheels. It adds a lot of strength. And once again, they've gone up in size on the turbine shaft as well, which is huge. Going to the front here, this is actually a KC char assembly, and we've got quite a few miles on this, and this has been a pretty good setup. But once again, I mean, just the quality and the machine work that KC puts in these products, you can just, you can just tell. And the fact that the, everything is nice and balanced, and it's assembled here in America, 
that's that's big whenever it comes to this turbo particularly i went with a stage one which has a 62 millimeter wheel this turbo is probably good for about 90 percent of you and i say that because if you're a hot shotter or you tow if you have a stock truck stock injector truck or even a small set of injectors we'll say like i don't know 160 30s 180 30s what whatever it might be this turbo is probably going to work for you but i would recommend you reaching out to kc to figure out what they recommend for your application but they are going to offer a stage two and a stage three in the same turbocharger so for you guys that are running bigger injectors and you want more guess what you're going to get it and once again, this is where you can really see that difference. Look at that. You can see the shape difference between the two compressor covers, and how different that is in design. And you can kind of see it, the exhaust is subtle, but once again, you get that rounded versus this wider flat design. And I'm not gonna take this apart because I don't want to avoid my warranty because I did pay for this out of my own pocket, but so far i've been super impressed i ordered it it came within four days and that was from arizona to virginia when it came it was in a really thick cardboard box it was completely stuffed with this thick foam packing clamshell material for lack of a better piece i mean there there was no motion no movement inside that box it was tight once you got past that and it was all taped together too so you had to peel it apart but once you got past that, it had this really thick plastic wrapping the entire turbocharger and had these awesome little covers on the end. And we will definitely be keeping those because those will come in handy. That's probably going to go on the GTP 38 or maybe one of the air turbos we have laying around. We'll see. But either way, it was this really thick bag material. It was almost like wrapped completely around and shrunken on the turbo. And it was all taped. There was no way this turbocharger was getting damaged unless you dropped it off like a 10 foot cliff. <laughs> I mean, it was really well packed. Customer service has been great so far. Um, any questions I've had, they've answered. It came with all the O-rings I need to install it, which is good because a lot of people try to reuse, especially the oil pedestal O-rings. O -rings. Don't do that. Replace it. It's not worth a gas. It's not worth getting a leak there and having to take the whole dang old thing back out. But overall, really excited about this. Um, I know I've been beating a dead horse right now, but this turbo and the claims they make is that even on a stock truck, it will spool faster than stock. It'll be more efficient, more responsive, run cooler, all those magical things. Those are some really bold claims to make. For my truck, I will never exceed 80 truck. I will never exceed 80 injectors on it. I'm never gonna exceed probably 300 wheel horsepower because I work my truck every day. And that's why I went with the stage one. But I want to reiterate that if you do have even a smaller set of aftermarket injectors, don't necessarily assume you need the stage two or stage three. I would really recommend you call KC and figure out what is best for your combination. With that being said, we're going to get into it because this bad boy is going to get installed. We're going to break it in really good. We'll change our oil after probably 100 miles. And it might be a little while before we have a review because I really want to put it through its paces. We've got a lot of trips coming um, for work and for doctor's appointments and for volleyball and all that good stuff. Got a lot of stuff coming. So it's going to get miles packed onto it fast. If it has problems, you guys will know about it. But once again, so far, my initial impressions have been very positive. So well done, KC. I hope that it continues to shine. And if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. But until next time, all the way.